Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. 300 seeing the place to be. <laughs> Alright, yo. Quick video tonight. In the garage, late night shift. We're going to be blacking out the Chrysler badge. This bad boy is going to be all black. Let's go see the supplies, what we're going to need to get this accomplished. All right. Infamous plastic dip. I love this stuff because you can take it off and call it a day when you are done with it. We've got the glossifier to give it a nice little gloss look. A little bit of rubbing alcohol, paper towel, microfiber cloth. A little tarp that I'm gonna use to cover the back of the car so I don't get any dip sprayed on there. Some masking tape and some scissors. So the first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the microfiber cloth, we're gonna wipe off any excess dirt, debris. I'm just gonna wipe anything extra on here. Okay. Wipe that off. Now we get in the rubbing alcohol and the paper cloth or the paper towel so we can get off any wax and debris and oils and all that good stuff. Okay, everything is clean, it dried a little bit. Now I can put the blue tape on. And I'm just gonna go around, cover that area where the badge is, and we'll go to the next steps. All right, blue tape has been applied all around the badge. Now I'm gonna get my tarp so I don't spray on my trunk, no overspray, none of that mess. All right, the tarp is put on. So after I covered the back of the car, I just kind of took some scissors and cut on the outside and around the badge to leave a little bit to be exposed. So then when I spray paint, it'll just be in that certain area. Okay. Classy dip is here. If you have some old butters, some old Tims, put them up here so you can hold the tarp in place for you. <laughs> These Tims last forever, man. Don't throw away your old Tims, yo. <laughs> All right, let's get ready to shake this can up for about a minute and then we're gonna apply our first spray on here. All right, got my little spray gun. Just makes it easier to spray so it doesn't put a lot of wear on my fingertips. All right, let's get that first coat on. All right, first coat is on. I'll probably do this about four more times. I'll go the opposite direction. I went right to left, so now I'll go left to right. Right, looking at this bad boy. I put four coats on here. Pretty good, no overspray, no dripping. I think I'll just stick to four. No need to go more than that. And then I can get the glossifier ready. Put some coats on here so this can shine a little bit. See if we get the flash on. All right, go and let this bad boy dry. I'm actually gonna go to sleep. <laughs> We're gonna take this off in the morning. I'm too tired. It looks good. A lot of time, a lot of work for a flipping badge, man. That's ridiculous. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are done with the badge back side of the car is all completed came out good I do have some touch-ups I need to do had a little bit of peeling on the side as you can see right there and right here 
so I'll go back later and touch those up. But yeah, it came out good. Long process. It took like two hours or so. The drying time is just so annoying. I should have gotten my secret tool, the hair dryer, speed up the drying time. I waited like 15 minutes between each coat. So total, we have four coats, plastic dip, and then we did four coats of Glossifier. Car looks good, stealthy now. Next project is probably gonna be the door trim. I wanna plastic dip the door trim. That's gonna be next. I don't see a lot of people with that mod. Most people just remove the siding door moldings right off, but I wanna try something different. Should be a lot easier because it's just a straight line and prepping should be pretty, pretty simple, so. All right guys, Operation Blackout, making progress. Catch you on the next one, peace.